Hello everybody, Imminent Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. In our last episode, we did a little bit more expansion. We took the province of Cyprus, and we had quite a sizable war with uh, this guy here and his allies to take the county of Nicomedia from him, um, which we were able to do. Um, so what we're doing right now is we are waiting for some truces to fall off. Um, namely with this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here. So that we can take all of their territory as mine. Because it should be mine. So, what we're going to do is just unpause it and just get time rolling here. Because I think that like the latest truce is this kind of falls off in 846. Um, we have a kid who can get, he needs to be educated, so let's find someone that I can send him to, uh, let's see, let's just send it to him, he doesn't like me a lot, but he, the, the entrusted ward will help a little bit. You have arrived at the private rooms. Okay, we're we're having, we're carousing with someone there. Who's this? My wife. She's the leader of a plot. What, what, what plot is she the leader of? Well, I can spy on her. Let's cover plots. Let's see if I can spy on her. I wonder what the plot is. Uh, he brought the board. Okay, we're gonna play a game, and oh, looks like we lost. Okay, so I and my trusted snoops and sneaks will keep a very close eye on the activities of my wife, which I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Maybe we can find out what plot that she is actually plotting. Oh, there it is. No wait. Okay, reveling carousing is over. Yeah, we're auto stopping plots as soon as we discover them, so. A weak claim can be pressed. The Gata of Kanea. What's this? My host... My lord, an enemy host is quickly approaching Byzantium with the intent to besiege it. Ooh. We will remain and defend Byzantium. Alright. 6,000 men. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, let's see. What kind of forces can we raise? Not enough. Uh, then let's raise my vassal levies. Uh, let's collect my men together. I mean, between me and all my vassals, I should have plenty of forces to take out 6,000 men. These are raiders. I definitely don't want them destroying stuff. The son was born. Okay. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Let see, let's slow things down and just disband the rest of these guys because we don't need them raised. And we don't need the opinion hit. I'm having them raised, so. We'll just bring these guys in. Overwhelming force. And wipe the raiders off the face of the planet. 
They'll probably just end up retreating into their ships before I can even get there. Yep. Uh, let's see. Justice is a harsh mistress, and I can't love her anymore. I, I am not the law. Uh, okay. Arrive on 27th of June. He will arrive 22nd of June. Yeah, got away. Those guys are really annoying. Where are you from? Aquelia. Hmm. I'll have to remember that. No, I'm not going to be spanning that direction at all. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, they're going to be an annoyance because they land, they start sieging things down, they have to raise my armies, and as soon as I'm ready to march them in, they immediately retreat back on their ships and sail away before I can do anything about it. A daughter was born... My cousin... Why am I getting these alerts? Legatus Augusti... Trianios the Young... Who is he to me? He's my vassal. She's my cousin, and she's unmarried. Okay. Strange that I'm getting the actual... My concubine, Sibelia, tells me she's pregnant, but I can't be right. Let's educate this kid. Let's see, I guess we'll send him to him? I thought it over and I cannot be the father. Alright, we're gonna have to hire someone to find out. Actually, we're building up a quite a nice... Uh, did I disband my entire military? I have to be careful with that. Yeah, I did. So I'm such a diligent person, I make sure that everything is as good as it can be. When it comes to my fighting men, I can focus on one of two things. More soldiers, the goal, or the morale of my retinue. I don't have a retinue. Can I get a retinue? Yes, I can hire up a retinue if I wanted to. Cost to create. Projected monthly cost, 0.16. Do I want a standing army? I don't know if I want a standing army. I mean, my economy is is okay, but it's not that good to where I can afford to just have a mass of soldiers sitting around all the time. The maid I had hired to gain my concubine Sibella's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Uh, that's a relief. We'll just... Figure it's my kid. I mean, I have enough kids as it is already. How is my son? Has he had any kids with his wife yet? No. I was hoping that he would. Because he's a genius. He was the only genius that I could find that he was uh, marriable or marriageable. Um, let's see, trade zones. Can I build any trade posts? Philaritos of the Cult of Titan Uprising has declared a second Greek Cult of Titan revolt on Despot Germanos the Just. Ah, uh, yeah, little... Limassol? There? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Alright, alright. It's no problem. It's only what? 2,500 men, plus or minus? I've got... I've got levy. I can build... Alright, let's raise it. Let's raise it. Let's... Get an overwhelming force. Let's uh, raise my ships as well. Alright, 
so we'll merge these guys up, load them onto the ships, send them out. Alright, there we go. Well, we're going to have to do... Actually, let's do the direct landing there against the smaller force. Wipe them out first. Yeah, no problem there. And then march on the larger army. Daughter was born. Okay. Eusebia. Yep. No problem. Wipe them out. Alright, that's 100% score. Expand my armies. And enforce my demands. Yep, we won. And we're probably going to get an event to see how we're going to treat that... that county. Uh, we need to educate this kid. And there it is. Okay, but let's let's just deal with this uh, kid here. All right, I'll send him over there. All right. I pretty much treat this. I lose and then gain the trait tyrant. Do I actually have the trait tyrant already? I apparently do. All right. Well, whatever. We're just gonna do that. And it's gone. Perfect. But now that county's crippled a little bit for uh, for about five years, which is no big deal, really. All right. Let me see about those truces. I got this. Tiana. Uh, that guy. Yep, of course I'll come. Not quite there yet. 8.45 March. Urbanus recently arrived in Byzantium and formally presented himself at court. Okay. He may recruit, but we're not going to fund him. Oh, this guy. We're going to let him rot. Um, and what I'm going to do is that guy... Cult the Titan dude? I'm gonna execute him. I do not care for the Cult of Titan. My vassal. Uh, let's see. He's a prefect. Can I throw him in the Obliette? Yeah, let's just throw him in the Obliette. There we go. See if he'll die of natural causes in prison. Host a grand banquet. All right, got some prestige. Uh, let's see. On this guy. No, we're going to be declaring war on them on him in due time. Um. And claims he would be a better auger. Let's see, she's learning a 17, he has a learning of 21. Alright, yeah, I'll bring him in. And let's see what you can do about the Cult of Titan heretics in my land. Run proselytize, okay. Yep, I'm gonna do the carousing thing again. So many laughs and so many intense conversations in such a short time, it brings you closer to companions. You feel like good friends already. Alright, I've got some more friends. I think I have, like, tons. I only have three friends. Reveling and carousing is over. Okay. So I think, like, a bunch of my guys, my vassals, have that carousing focus here, which is why they keep inviting me to parties. Just keep this thing rolling here, because we're just waiting for those truces to fall away. 
Uh, Sunni faith triumphant. Interesting. Where's the Sunni faith? Here. Okay. And here and here. Uh, she is over there. Yeah, Zoroastrian is kind of taking a beating from Sunni right now. Uh, let's see. Truces are about to expire. Yep, that's 41 days left. This truce should already be gone. Yes. And what I'll probably just end up doing is... Because I think those are the only two... Princess Agnea Greece is now of legal age. She became a charismatic negotiator. Alright. And... Yeah, because those are the last of the two of the Aegean Islands counties to make that uh, province. And we're going to be dealing with Mr. Crete here in our own... In his own way. Alright, so... This should have fallen off. Alright, so I don't think they have any diplomatic relations that I would need to worry about. They got some allies over here, so that might be a problem. But these guys do not. How many men can this guy put in the field? 970? So probably 1,200 tops if he brings in his vassal levies. Well, this guy might be the problem. Let's see, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What I think I'm going to do is, might be a mistake, but I have a massive army I can raise if I need to. Um, now, we got quite a lot of negative opinion here. Increased crown authority. Tyrant's not helping. Is that increased crown authority is really hurting? Title claimant. He has a weak claim on the whole thing. Oh well. Hopefully, once I go through succession, that that raised crown authority penalty will go away. Because I, I think I increased that law right there. Alright, well what I'm going to do is I can field... Because my own army is, is enormous. Probably more than enough to deal with anything that these guys are going to bring up. So, I'm going to declare war on him. I'm going to do du jour claim. Alright. This is probably conscripting the merchant ships again, yeah. And then I'm also going to declare war on him at the same time. Take them both. I'm going to raise my entire army. And my vassal levies as well. And I don't need all that much. These guys, I'm going to merge them up. Actually, I'm going to take these guys and march them into uh, Lesbos there. And I'm going to start amassing my forces. Thrake. And Thessalia. I'm going to operate three separate armies here. Because all of his allies are over here, so if they start marching in here, I want to have a force ready to deal with them. But all of this should be more than enough to deal with his army. Oh, someone got caught. Not having much luck spying on my queen. Um, yeah, this is pointless. We're going to forget that. He 
has some bonuses there, but that shouldn't be a problem. Defeat. Alright, so we're gonna merge this army together, we're gonna merge this army together. I'm gonna put myself. Let's throw some commanders in here. Oh. Let's actually chase his army down. Oh. He is running. Victory. Right, let's siege down the rest of his. his army out. Ah. Yep, there we are. Let's put some commanders in charge here. Well, let's actually... I'm going to take command of that center. Well, those commanders aren't great, but it's better than nothing. trying to land some troops. Oh, Hyper Noble. Right, we're going to do a duel here. Lord Aristus. Okay, accept. Victory is mine. Perfect. He's now my prisoner. Yeah, that's 183 men, I'm not even going to worry about it all. He's offering to pay a ransom for his freedom. Yeah, we'll accept the ransom. He's from one of the allies, I'm not that worried about those guys. Oh, this guy we can actually disband. We don't need him. Oh, and we don't need these guys either. the ambition to reign for 20 years. Alright. Oh, we got one of these wars done. You. Alright. We won the war. Now that's mine. And we need to fulfill a new ambition. Let's say increase size and immense because that's about to happen. So it's basically just some free prestige. Oh, and there we go. Alright. So what do we want to do here? I guess... Uh, we'll go with... Win a war? Yep, because that's going to be simple enough. Let's get these guys back into... Yeah, we'll put on our house of rest there. Right, let's get our men back into our territory and then stand the army down. And then we're gonna have to... Do a little bit of title management here. Okay, so I now hold that title and that title. So let's hand these out to some guys. Any ruler? No. Same thing we always do. Alright, let's see. Good stewards. These guys don't like me much, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Grant land a title, we'll give him that. And we'll give him Lesbos. There we go. 
Alright, now we need to create a title. Uh, du jour duchies. Duchy of Naxos. Okay. We create it. Uh, this guy, he likes me okay. This guy is, eh, not so much. Oh, I guess this guy is going to be the one. So we're going to grant his title the province of Naxos. There we go. And that should improve his opinion a little bit. Yep. There we go. Oh, this truce here is expiring in 25 days. What's the state of my military look like? Not bad. And now all of a sudden everybody likes me. Looks like that raised crown authority... Um... Fell off. Okay, so that's good. Alright. Let me just take a look at my prisoner situation here. I can't... Okay, actually, let me just go ahead and release these people. I really have no need to have them in prison. Alright, so, once that truce falls off, which it just did, we can now go to war with this guy. And this is gonna be... Um, hopefully interesting. Because we're gonna go to war with him, we're gonna basically steal his title. This province of Crete title, because that's mine. And then I am going to try to create a situation where I can then take, I can revoke his titles. So, let's go ahead and get that started here. So, um, we're going to declare war on him. And let me just see what, what my economic situation, plus 15... We got plenty of money in the ba in in the bank there, so you know, let's go ahead and declare war. Is your claim on Crete? Send it, and we want to raise my army. What I want to do is I want to break this up into two armies. Actually, I didn't even check to see if he had any allies. He does. He has a bunch. Okay, so if they come into the war, I might have to start... Uh... Now I want to raise my ships. Oh, I need some more ships. Um, no, 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 this one. Raise my ships there. Raise them up. Load these guys up. Bring those ships down here. These guys, merge them up and send them in here to attack these armies. Merge them together, start marching them in. got there after he got out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for my morale to rebuild a little bit there. Let me see, I'm going to send these ships uh, somewhere to to park and disband, because I don't want to pay to keep those ships up. Alright, now let's march on him there, and let's bring... Actually... That siege is going really quick, so I'm going to siege that down over here. Once that siege is done, then I'm going to march down here. 
Oh, enemy soldiers, Legata's Augusti, Crass is the Cruel. Prepare to die. Alright, if I could actually capture him here, force him to yield. Gives you an opening. Oh, and we killed him. I gave a significant morale boost. But I would have much rather have captured him, because I could have just ended the war right here. Let's chase him down. Wipe that army out. Now we have to fight his heir. Photios. Alright, now, did he bring in any allies? It appears he has. Okay, so let's raise the vassal levies. Let's expand the ships. Destroyed some buildings, can't be helped. All right, let's start gathering our forces together. Ah, caught us. Uh, let's see if I can reinforce. Ah. I need to march out. See if I can get in there and reinforce, okay. Let's merge up and let's see if I can get in there. Oh, he caught he caught my army there. Oh, that is trouble. Okay. We won. Truth be told, I never thought I would really like Sergia, my cousin. We had a good time. Oh, so now she's my friend. This is gonna have to be like my primary army. Uh, take him prisoner at once. Oh, and it looks like we got him. Oh, we can get out of this war. Ooh, that was fortunate. Because that was starting to get a little ugly. The Greek Cretan du jour war over Crete has ended. We won. Okay, so. Let's stand all my armies down. Make sure my fleet levies are down. Okay, good. Now, what do we want to do? Change a province's culture? See, that's 25 prestige, that's 25 prestige. That improves the mood of the glory faction. Let me just take a look at this. Um, let's do the win of war. Because it improves the mood of a faction. Right now. Okay, let's see if we can get him back fabricating claims. And there we go. So we can create the title Duchy of Samos, but I don't want to do that just yet. Because we just stole the title uh, province of Crete. But this guy is still my vassal. This guy is also my direct vassal. Yes, he should be. Yes. That guy's my direct vassal. But this guy still holds all this territory. So, what I want to do is I need to fabricate or come up with a way to take his stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fabricate a claim of treason. Actually, let me see what this you know, percentage is on that. Kidnap, 
Fabricate evidence of treason. Yeah, there we go. Because then what that'll do is it'll let me throw him in jail. Once I have him in jail, then I can revoke his titles. Um, for free, and then execute him. And then we can deal with his heirs. Uh, let's see. Now we should have some prisoners here. We have one prisoner. We can just go ahead and let her out. And then once... Because what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to try to revoke this county title here. Because then it'll bring it um, basically as mine directly. And then I can hand it out to whoever I want. Then I can hand out the title of uh, Province of Crete to one of these guys. And then I can create the Province of Samos and hand it out to somebody here. My cousin again? No, no, no. Okay, so... What else we might be able to do? Actually, we're getting to a good point here where we... I want to go ahead and stop the episode, because we're getting... kind of long here. So... We successfully finished bringing our du jour counties uh, into our kingdom, and we are going to engage in a little bit of intrigue to try to... Uh, rearrange some of our titles here we just we just took so hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching go ahead like subscribe and comment and I'll see you next time